Hey guys, I'd like to talk today about loving yourself first. So it sounds like, you know, uh, I suppose it can sound many different ways. It can sound like very selfish, it can sound very vain. Um, what I mean by that statement is making sure that you have your own back and making sure that you are first on your list. And again, what I mean when I say that is do you can't do you always put other people first or do you put their needs and wants first um where where are you at in the pecking order in terms of yourself and also do you know yourself enough um because if you don't if you're not loving yourself and putting yourself first you don't probably really know yourself because if you really truly knew yourself you would love yourself if that makes sense so a lot of the time we don't really know ourselves. Do we want to get to know ourselves? Knowing yourself, like, you know, is the truth. Like it is it is the the truth of who you be and it is the truth of what you are to be in this world. Do you, do you know, because there's nobody else going to know you as much as you know yourself and there's nobody else going to be you as well as you be yourself and there's nobody else going to have that sense of, you and have that love for yourself that you have for yourself there's completely different relationships you'll have with yourself and other people and that's the one to to nurture that's the one to care for and that is the one to always put first and if putting that first means that you you know have make some choice today that would be different to something you could make a different day. That's a huge that's a huge amount of putting yourself first. It's not about you doing things like externally for yourself. It's really it's really an inside job and it's really all about the internal. So it's about you being able to put yourself up there um even though you could be in a scenario with many people. So you, you remember as well you're always being the invitation when you do that. Um, for somebody else to see the empowerment and the the movement and the progress um, when you put yourself first and there's a certain energy that comes off that which is it's really like it it it, it feels like it's a it's you're ahead of um, you're ahead of uh, your old energy it's like when you're choosing it yourself or choosing for yourself if there's something that you need to do, you go and do it. If it if it means that something else gets delayed, that, so be it. So it, it can equally be you, because you're always in competition with ourselves only. So it's like, it's like you choosing the part of yourself that wants to move forward over the part of yourself that wants to maybe stay somewhere or is resisting change, because we all have many different parts, obviously. So it's all, you're, you're always dealing with all of yourself. So it's about loving the part of yourself that wants to do things, that wants to be in a sense of wonder, that wants to enjoy life, that wants to feel joy, that wants to um, to experience life to its fullest. And it's about choosing that part because when you choose that part, you're choosing the possibility of something greater and you're choosing for yourself the possibility of anything to come or your your desires your your wants your your needs your you're really getting in touch with yourself and the biggest part of that is getting to know yourself so once you know yourself you know what you need you know what you want you know what you'd like you know when you need to to care more for yourself you know when you need to feed yourself more you know when you need to water yourself more so whatever the case may be it's really about getting to know yourself and it's about, as I said, loving yourself first. Nobody else is going to love you the way that you love yourself. Enjoy your body, enjoy your skin, enjoy your hair, enjoy just everything about yourself that makes you you and that makes you unique from everybody else. Um, but again, it's 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 being in that sense of wonder about yourself. And I, I really believe that if we keep growing and we keep adding to our awareness, that's when we're truly free. And that's when we're truly in joy with the world because we we're we are always meant to grow, like our bodies are growing, so every other part of us has to grow in unison with that. And if it doesn't, that's when 
that pain may you know become an issue because it is our destiny to grow and in awareness in body in mind in spirit and i think it's it's definitely a um we must follow this direction like it is definitely something that um that we have to do for every facet of ourselves and as again it's you're being the invitation to other people to do the same thing so loving yourself first whatever that looks and feels like to you because for everybody else it's different so whatever it is whatever it is to you be it and do it and feel the benefit of that as often as you can do it um we'll be realistic here do you know what i mean so as often as you can do it do it because you are always filling up on you're always fueling that part of yourself where you know that you've got your own back and even if you're not doing it in this moment you know it'll be back to do it again okay thanks guys